Welcome to Grace for All, a daily devotional podcast produced by the people of First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee. On behalf of our congregation, thank you for joining us today. So what shall I do? I will pray with my spirit, but I will also pray with my understanding. I will sing with my spirit, but I will also sing with my understanding. 1 Corinthians 14, verse 15. By anyone's definition, Horatio Spafford was a successful man. A loving husband and father of four, he was an attorney and successful real estate investor in Chicago, Illinois, in the second half of the 19th century. He was also no stranger to disaster and personal loss. He lost most of his real estate fortune in the Chicago Fire of 1871. Two years later, his family was scheduled to take a vacation in London, England, where his good friend Dwight L. Moody would be preaching. Spafford was delayed due to business issues, but sent his wife and four daughters ahead. He was to meet them in London when he was finished with his business. On the voyage, the ship carrying his family collided with an iron sailing vessel. The ship sunk in 12 minutes, and 226 people lost their lives, including Spafford's four daughters. His wife, Anna, survived, and when she reached Cardiff, Wales, after being rescued, sent Spafford a telegram in which she simply stated, Saved alone. Spafford immediately left for England. The captain of his ship was aware of the tragedy, and when the ship passed the point of the disaster, summoned Spafford to the bridge to see the sight. As Spafford contemplated the fate of his family, his heart, though broken, was filled with comfort and hope. After witnessing the sight, he returned to his cabin and put that comfort and hope into words. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. Even after facing heartbreaking tragedy, Horatio Spafford's faith never wavered. He may not have understood the whys of the tragedies he faced, but he understood the God he served. And that understanding allowed his spirit to sing of the peace he and his wife experienced. We might not understand all that happens to us or those we love. We can, however, understand that God made a way for us to be his children And as his children, we have access to the peace and comfort only God can provide. The words Horatio Spafford wrote in 1873 are as true today as they were then. My sin, oh the bliss of this glorious thought. My sin, not in part, but the whole, is nailed to the cross and I bear it no more. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, O my soul. Father, thank you for making a way. Thank you for sending Jesus Christ to pay the price for our sins. Thank you for the peace and understanding that comes from that gift and for the blessing that comes from singing to you with our spirit. Amen. This devotional was written and read by Cliff McCartney. Thank you for joining us for today's podcast. I'm Rev. Sarah Slack, Associate Pastor at First United Methodist Church in Maryville, Tennessee. Our church is a vital, vibrant congregation, sharing the love of Jesus Christ to our community and to God's world. This podcast was written and produced by the people of our congregation. To know more about this ministry or other ministries of our church, please visit our website at firstchurch.org. That's the number one, S-T, church.org. Join us again for the next episode. And until then, bear witness to the love of God in this world so that those to whom love is a stranger will find in you most generous friends.